string tension is the force along the length of the string. And that's determined by three factors. One is the length of the string. Um, and that's typically fixed for standard instruments. Uh, the second factor is the frequency of vibration. Again, that's fixed for standard tunings. Um, and then the third factor is the amount of material, um, specifically the total mass of the material that's wound onto the string. There are other factors such as the diameter of the string, um, how much the string stretches as you deflect the string, um, and the materials and the finish of the string, um, even the sound of the string, will affect the player's perception of string tension. And finally, luthiers, or violin makers, they use the term string tension as well, but they're using it to describe the force that's exerted on the top of an instrument by the string. The main factor that affects that is the technical definition of string tension. But in addition, there are geometrical factors such as the um, the angle of the string over the bridge that affects how much force is exerted on the top of the instrument. The tension of a string is important because it affects the playability of a string, and that affects the playability of the instrument, which affects the sound that comes out. Now, heavier tension strings will sound louder under the same bowing conditions. The reason that is is because it has more mass. That's what makes it heavier tension. And, and the increased mass pushes against the instrument with greater force, causing it to vibrate more, which produces more sound out of the instrument. So why don't we all use heavier tension strings all the time? Well, there's some disadvantages in using heavier tension strings. Because of the increased mass, they're more difficult to bow. We have to more, move more mass around. And in particular, they're much more difficult to bow when you try to play softly. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of a lighter tension string? Um, the obvious advantage is that they're easier to bow, especially softly. And under the same bowing conditions, of course, they can't be played as loudly. Um, but you can compensate for that by playing closer to the bridge. A lighter tension string can be played closer to the bridge. So a lower tension string will allow a wider range of tonal palettes and tonal colors than a heavier tension string. There are several common misconceptions about uh, string tensions evolving over history. Uh, the most common one is that String tensions have been rising over the course of 300, 400 years over the history of the violin. About 50 years ago, we were in an era of historically low string tensions um, with modern gut strings. And since then, string tensions have risen slightly with modern synthetic and steel core strings. However, even the string tensions that are common today are lower than historical string tensions from 100 years ago and even 300 years ago. We offer strings of different tensions, typically medium, heavy, and light. Medium is the tension that works best for most instruments. Um, but your instrument may work better with heavy or light tension, and it may even work best with a combination of medium, light, and heavies. The only way to find out is to experiment. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that there are no standards for tensions. So the medium tension string of one particular brand may be slightly different in tension than the medium tension of another brand. So my best recommendation is don't be afraid to experiment and figure out what works best for your instrument.